Hey there, I just got back, well, finished my exam, had to go with my better half to do some uh, shopping <coughs> for, uh, because, because we got our stuff at late, our gifts not, we all, we end up like going to, uh, stores and adding to them. Yeah, I, I know, uh, <coughs> so, <coughs> gift. The thing, update for a couple people. Uh, TJ, well, you know, one of the things you got coming, uh, the big one of the biggies, because I had to ask you before I picked it up, and I'm going to go do that actually after later on tonight. It's my son's birthday today, so everybody say happy birthday, Matt, down in the comment section below. <clears throat> Lola's basement, we're actually watching videos of yours tonight to decide for sure what we're going to get. Uh, Nathan, we, uh, hope you don't have these, too. Uh, but, uh, we decided Blu-ray and, uh, something that you can do on your channel. Either of your channels. So, went for something different. <clears throat> and, uh, Sammy, Falgar, we uh, your Screen Factory collection is about to get a couple Blu-rays bigger. Okay. All that being said, uh, I picked up something today and uh, for myself as well, and my uh, better half picked up something. And I'll show you what I picked, what she picked up first. <clears throat> and she uh, grabbed the uh, 35th anniversary edition of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's the Digibook. Kind of cool, actually. We've only had this on DVD, something that we both are huge fans of, we both grew, kind of grew up with. She saw it when she was way too young to see it, and uh, I saw it, uh, actually I probably got into this when I was in college more than anything else, no, to be totally honest with you, but it's, um, as for as digibooks go, this one's really, really cool, and uh, big fan. <clears throat> Next up, I want to get something for my Scream Shout Factory collection. And, uh, couldn't pass this one up. <clears throat> I've been looking at this one for a while, and I read some reviews on it, and it got a really good review. The transfer is supposed to be amazing, and the interviews are cool, plus there's a uh, commentary as well. But, uh, I really wanted this one. Something different from a director that, uh, is, n is known for zombie films. It's Romero. <clears throat> and I picked up, uh, Knight Riders. From uh, George A. Romero. It's a different Romero film. It's uh, definitely it's not the horror type that uh, you're used to seeing. There's no zombies in this one. And uh, just a you know, very different film. We got uh, Ed Harris in this one, John Amplis, Tony, Tom Savini, Patricia Talman, uh, Ken Foray, of course, who was also in Down the Dead. And uh, just a, you know, really unique. Uh, Romero movie, and uh, this one is a long one too. This is a uh, hundred and forty-five minutes long, so you know this is over two hour long. This is supposed to be kind of really like his his epicish type film. Uh, basically, uh, some members of this Renaissance fair, and you know the motorcycles, and uh, they're just like uh, like they say the the games, the romance, the spirit. Camelot is a state of mind, and you see Ed Harris there. If you look in the back, you can see like. Uh, Tom Savani in like another night outfit it. And uh, I gotta say, I have commentary new interviews with writer director George A. Romero, Tom Savani and Ed Harris. It's at trailer and TV spots. I had this one up and I had up uh, In the Mouth of Madness. And uh, In the Mouth of Madness, unfortunately, only had a uh, commentary. That was it. And uh, I was kind of hoping, still hoping that I'll get a better release than I got. This is the uh, Inside looking at that one. But, uh, Night Riders is one I've wanted for a long time. I've never seen like a really great copy of it. So, uh, I'm not sure if Anchor Bay some did. I think Anchor Bay or something released this on DVD like a long time ago. Was it Anchor Bay? Hmm. You guys let me know if you, uh, if you know. So, uh, or if you, tell, tell me what you think of this movie, if you've seen it, if you've seen like yeah, one of the different cuts of this film. Uh, because I'm guessing the, uh, didn't always release it at 145 minutes, so, uh, 
kind of wondering if this is like a more uncut version than the one I saw before, because I'm pretty sure the one I saw before was shorter than that. Much shorter, actually. Uh, of course, it's a widescreen high def transfer. Uh, the uh, from what I saw from going online, the transfer is really good. The uh, the sound of this is really good as well, and uh, the way to get this is on Blu-ray. So uh, it's an incredible, incredible film. Not the usual Romero. I like to go over something different. The other one I was looking at, and I might still go back, is a. Uh, an incredible melting man because I really kind of want that one uh, I like Rick Baker uh, there's Rick, incredible melting man there's vampire lovers and there was Q which one do you guys think I should get next in the uh, Scream Chef Factory uh, Blu-rays because I, uh, I actually have a uh, from other shopping I did today like gift shopping and stuff I have enough to uh, to get ten dollars off so I may go back for one of them now one thing I have to let you guys know about that we're doing here, and if you are in Canada, maybe it'll be around your area as well. And we don't usually get this, so this is really kind of cool. And I can't find it. Go figure, huh? Well, here we go. <clears throat> Cineplex Odeon is having a the Great Digital Film Festival. So we looked at the uh, movies that are playing, just some Stuff for uh, 70s and 80s films, like you know, a few of the newer ones too. Uh, we look, we think we're going to go see Planet of the Apes, uh, the 1989 Batman Theater. These are all in theater, by the way. There's uh, Battlestar Galactica, the, the 1978 version. There's a, uh, hmm, I gotta watch them. Uh, Tron, the original Planet of the Apes, of course, I'm not sure if everyone see that. Uh, Flash Gordon, yep, the original. Uh, Logan's Run. Uh, Brazil, we're going to be checking out Honor Your Magic Secret Service and Thunderball. And the last day, I think we may go to Money Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, we're up near Akira. But, uh, yeah, they have a, a, a big film festival going on. And there's some movies that she, my uh, better have never got to see in theater. She's, you know, she sees six years younger than I am. And there's some movies here that I haven't seen in theater either. I, uh, know that. I do want to see uh, Brazil in theater. I don't think I, I think I missed that one the first time around when, when I was in theater. I know I did. I'm not old enough to see Planet of the Apes in theater, so it's going to be really cool seeing that one. I'm actually very much looking forward to seeing the original Planet of the Apes in theater. I saw Tron in theater, so it's going to be kind of a cool flashback again. And uh, of course, Flash Gordon. But uh, I never did see Belsar Galactic in theater. I watched it on TV. Uh, the uh, did have the. I know that they did the theater run. Uh, mostly in Europe for that film, uh, but they did bring it out like an unlimited release after the TV series. Actually, they brought but the original Battle Cyclic the movie in theater, and I do have the uh, DVD here, actually signed uh, by uh, by Richard Hatch when he was in town. So I uh, got to talk to him for a bit. I actually, got to talk to him for a nice, but it's a really nice guy. And uh, I tried talking to my daughter, who was very shy and kind of starstruck. And uh, he didn't get a lot out of her, but he was, I guess it was really sweet. And, uh, you know, gonna be gifts. that's what I'll do. Someday I'll get out my autograph stuff or something like that and show you guys my uh, collectibles and that. But today, these are the two that I picked up for myself and my better half. Uh, the Digibook for the Rock Horror Picture Show. It's a limited edition. Uh, just very cool. Did not pass that up. And uh, Georgia Ramiro's Night Riders. So, love this cover. And I uh, love this film. Let me know what you guys think of it. And hey, don't forget to, uh, if you watch my video, and, uh, you know, thumbs up, sub, like. But most of all today, show uh, show some love for my son, Matthew, who's hit 19 today. And say happy birthday down below. It's much appreciated. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later because uh, I just got in that Delango. It snowed here last night and my pants are soaked because I just had to get in a, over this bunch of snow. And right now... It's time for tea.